I destroyed my garage. Not good. What's up machine freaks and welcome to today's vlog. I'm kind of confused for today because I wanted to do more work on this charger or Danny's other charger. But unfortunately it's going to rain I think today and tomorrow. So I want to deal with a little bit behind the scenes today. engine that came out of this truck it's about to rain so I want to get it out of the outside in yesterday's video there were a couple of things that I forgot to mention Number one, this engine's pretty heavy. I mean, it's not nothing near what the Duramax weighs in my Chevy. This thing's heavy when you're moving it by hand. Ian, where are you, buddy? I was caught up on this lip. This engine puller, cherry picker, whatever you want to call it, it moves a lot easier when an engine's not on it. If you want to jot that note down. You probably know why I brought this engine in here. Look at all these electronics. I wanted to keep my nice new rig that I built nice and clean and not rusty. Ian and I worked hard building this. Yes, Ian and I did make this tool. Basically what it is, it's an engine remover. It's just a piece of plate with a chain welded onto it. Ian came up with the idea. This is how the professionals do it. So basically all you do is you take the intake off of the engine, you bolt this down to it with some grade eight bolts, and then you take the engine hoist, hook it up to it, and pull the engine right out. We're gonna need this when we remove the next engine and then install it into this one. So we're gonna need to use this two more times. So it was a good thought of Ian to come up with this. It was teamwork. He came up with the idea, drilled the holes, I did the welding. Neither one of them failed. Time to paint it up though to prevent any rust and crustacean. <laughs> Things are getting real. Real orange that is. Well I guess the only thing that's really getting orange is my new intake mount bracket thing. Everything else is just uh, getting cleaned up I guess. With what happened with yesterday, I kind of wanted to explain a little bit about time management and the importance of it. Yesterday, what happened was I was hit with a very big project and I've never torn an engine out by myself before, ever. At least, you know, a truck engine. <laughs> when that happened, I was like, hey, let me try to get as much content and as much progress done as possible and then I'll have both the truck done and a video done. I have to clean this thing, it's getting so nasty. Believe it or not, I am a clean person. Even though my garage is destroyed and, and you know, I make huge messes, I love to be clean. How many people do you know actually clean out their tool tray? I don't know anybody who does. <laughs> when I first took this project on and it showed up in my driveway, I was, I was really excited and I'm still excited. I originally thought that it would take me two days to take the engine out and my assumption was correct if I made a video. The problem was I focused only on the engine. I didn't focus on you guys, my priority. I love what we have and I want to stick with that instead of worrying about a truck a couple days and then being out of my life. You guys are always there. Saying that, the good thing about having two trucks, two engines and the whole process all over again, and I guess the only good thing about vehicles is there's always two sides. When you're working on brakes, you have the left and the right. When you're working on ball joints, you have a left and a right. Here, we have an engine and we have an engine. We have a truck and we have a truck. So the good thing is, is I got good. Because I did it, it's, it's accomplished, it's on my freaking floor, and I know it's gonna happen. Saying that, I can explain myself a lot better this time around than I did last time around, which was yesterday. I always try to look at the glass half full, and I'm glad that you guys know that. Saying that, now is the time to leave a comment in the comment section below with any questions or concerns about the next day. I'll do my best to get to all of them. If I don't get to your specific question or comment, it's, it's really starting to rain out there. Please don't be offended. Sometimes I just don't get to all of them. 
Same with other social media stuff like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. Like if you guys message me or or try to ask me questions on other social media, don't take it to don't take it the wrong way that I don't answer you. If I answered everybody, this wouldn't be what it is. 3D machines, there would be no 3D machines. I wouldn't be able to make a video every day. That, that's what the comment section's for. That's why I try to push the comment section as much as possible so that you get what you want. I hope I expressed myself well enough there. So since it's rainy and crappy outside, and I plan on taking Danny's other engine out up at his grandfather's house instead of down here because I have nice concrete. I don't want tranny fluid, power steering fluid, engine oil, coolant all over the driveway. What the hell? <laughs> like, we did extremely well yesterday, but if I can just avoid all of that and just do it up there, because I already know what tools I need, then that'll work extremely slick. I put these nuts on the bolts so this is strictly like one piece. I won't lose the bolts. And I painted it bright orange so I don't lose that. <laughs> percent of us have to deal with is school. You're usually supposed to go to school and get an education. I went to college hoping to be a mechanical engineer. I did not go to this place. A lot of people always ask me that. I did not. I'm going to choose to only talk about school, not college or anything after that. I'm not going to say whether you need or do not need college. Everybody's different. You choose for yourself. Me personally, I think I enjoyed elementary school the best. That was kindergarten to fourth grade. Middle school, I got a little bit more awkward. That was fifth grade to eighth grade. And then high school, I chose to be, well, quiet and awkward for the most part, I think. Maybe people interpreted me a little different. I, I was much different of a person outside of school. And that's how my girlfriend met me. If she just saw me in school, I, I wouldn't have personally dated me. Sorry, I'm getting off subject. When you were younger, you didn't have any homework. When you, were, when you got older, you had more and more work to do every day. All I'm trying to do is tell you, progressively, you have to become more and more aware of your time. And you have to manage your time. And yesterday, I wasn't too good at that. So instead of leaving you guys like, hey, where did the 3D machines go for the day? I'd rather just tell you what's going on. I'm sure there are a few of you that are like, hey, for somebody who missed an upload yesterday that uploads daily and is now talking about time management, you're probably thinking, look who's calling the kettle black. What I say is, look who's all packed for tomorrow. See, that, that was supposed to rhyme. I had to put that in there though. See, it's raining outside. So instead of sitting out there in the rain, I packed up for tomorrow or the next day. It depends on the weather. You know, cameras and rain don't mix. I want to get the shot. I want to multitask. So that's why we got to wait for the weather. 3D machines, why don't you just buy a big shop or run a big shop? I, I'd like to do that. And that's the and that's the goal. I need to make these videos in this garage right now and outside to get to that milestone. And you guys can help, but it's really easy. Just hit the like button, it costs you nothing, and, and it makes my video do a little better, and we can get to that goal a little quicker. Well, really, that's up to you. But what I really want to know from you is when have you ever screwed up with time or anything that you really had to manage and, and have a deadline and things like that? Whether that's school-related, work-related, I don't know anything related. I got so ticked off yesterday and how I screwed up, I actually dreamt about it. Like who dreams about removing engines and stuff like that? And it wasn't just like, oh, dreamy paradise with engines. No, it was like, man, I screwed up. Anyways, leave, leave your story in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until next time, 3D Machines out.